planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth fruit in his season, hallelujah. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. I'm gonna say that one more time. Whatsoever he doeth shall prosper, hallelujah. And the ungodly are not so. But are, the, I'm sorry, hold on. But are like the chaff which, um, which the wind driveth away, Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Aren't we blessed that we're not ungodly? Amen. Aren't we I guess we have some. Amen. Aren't we blessed we, aren't we are godly yes, we are. that we're not ungodly? Hallelujah. On that note, we're going to continue to stand and we're going to recite the summary of the commandments. Hallelujah. And God spoke all these words. I'm sorry. And Jesus said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Aren't we, don't we serve a wonderful yeah. God? You yeah. guys may be seated. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise his name. I know we have time because we have to be back in the morning. And so we're going to go straight into our testimony. Oh, announcements. I'm sorry. Um, we're going to have our lovely um, Minister Aston come up and give us our um, announcements. Praise his name. Praise the Lord. Uh, on Monday, only park on the church side of the street or in the church parking lot around the corner because if you don't, you'll be ticketed. Um, tomorrow, service will start at 12 o'clock. And we are going to go apple picking. Uh, we're going apple picking on Monday, October 17th. On Sunday? 16th. On, on Sunday, October 16th at, um, at 12 p.m. There, um, there's no fee per person, but um, the families, they expect to buy um, bags. So they have bags, a small bag is $18, and a large bag is $30. So Per family, per family. So the families, you know, get together some, that's per family. And, uh, <laughs> you can't have two bigger families. They won't let us come back again. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm in somebody's family. <laughs> uh oh. All of this stuff there, the hay and all that. They're going to have um, hay rides and Ooh. games for the kids. And yeah, there's no, no fee per person. So, um, and we're going to have lunch. I, I still don't have. Um, the information about the lunch, but we're gonna have lunch and we're hoping uh, it can be right there on the grounds. Right there, Lady Dollar. We're hoping, we're hoping it can be right there. And um, don't forget on October 9th, Pastor will be teaching an anniversary celebration and that's at 4 p.m. So that's the last day before the, the, the first day. Sorry. October 9th. That's the first day of the Feast of Tabernacles. So everyone that can come out, come out and support him. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Wasn't that a great announcement? I'm so looking forward to Apple picking. 
we did that before and it was so awesome. The children loved it. Um, I'm happy you guys are doing the hay ride though. I've never been on one. So I'm sure the children love it. Um, at this time, we're going to have our deacons help us a testimony service. Praise amen, God. amen. I give God thanks for coming out tonight for the yeah. first, the feast night. Yeah. Then I'm going to give him thanks for those here on the highways and byways. Yeah. Because we never know what the highways and byways is going to happen in the next minute or two. Yeah. But I give God thanks that I'm able to come out tonight for the, to this feast night. Yes. Yes. And to see each and every one. Because we don't know what's going to happen. So I give God thanks yeah. at this time of even. Right. I even, like I said yesterday, but tonight is another night. Because we don't, last night we don't say, but we give right now. Yeah. Because last night was another night, but tonight is another night, yeah. another even. Yeah. Because last night you could be whatever. But I give God thanks tonight I'm here yeah. to see each and every one. Yeah. And pray for me as the family and each and every one as I pray for you. This time we open up testimonies for those that have song or just a scripture, whatever they come to their hearts at this time. Amen. Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus. He's a lily of the valley, a bright morning star.
this place is truly, I thank and praise God for being in the house of worship this one more time. Amen. And I was so looking forward and excited for this time, but this is my first time. Amen. And again, this is my happy place. And this is my beautiful family. Amen. And, I, and this, today, this is my third service today. So we give God the glory. Oh, yeah. We've been going all day, and I'm just so excited and happy. You just continue to pray for me that I may be the daughter of Yah that he's calling for, and he's blessing me with Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. 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 The man, the man of Galilee, for he has done, done so, so much for me. He has taken all my sins and, the and let the Holy Ghost come in. Yeah. I love that man, the man of Galilee. Thank Jesus for Calvary. Thank him for his blood. And I just want to thank everyone. Thank him that he has allowed me for another feast day, another day of trumpet. I just want to thank him. Rise up, rise up, children of Yahweh, arise. Why don't we rise up, rise up, children of Yahweh, arise. Why don't we rise up and up and victory? Why don't we rise up and up and victory? Why don't we rise up and up and victory? Why don't we rise up and up and victory? God for being here another day in the land of the living. Hallelujah. Thank uh give my honor and respect, hallelujah, to uh, uh my pastor, Bishop Robert Diaz, hallelujah, and to all the um uh household of faith, hallelujah, to all y'all that are here, hallelujah. We also my uh respect and honor, hallelujah, to Apostle uh, Bishop uh, Evans, hallelujah, Amen. to his wife, hallelujah. Faith, hallelujah. 
and to all the members of the household of faith. Ain't God good? I said, ain't God good? Because I know, you know, the Lord has done more than yeah. more than one, you know, thing for me in my life. You mm -hmm. understand? Well, I'm glad that He saved me. That's for sure. Hallelujah, number one. Hallelujah. And uh, I just want to sing a song, if it's all right. I know you heard it before. Yeah. Uh, I know we can get into it together. When we get into it together, it sounds better. You understand? Amen. Because we're here to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, you know what he's done for you, right? Yes, we do. So the song goes just like that. You know what he's done for me. That's okay? right. So you have to be great. You have to be thankful. And you have to be grateful for what he's done for you. Whatever he's done for you, you can never forget it. Hallelujah. So I want to move on with the song, all right? Yes. Can we all unite together in the song? Yes. Yes. You heard it before more than one time. But the song still goes good. Oh, 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 my family.
Who got a shoot? Thank you. 
I am blessed, I am blessed, every day of my life I am blessed, when I wake up in the morning and I lay my head to rest, I am blessed, I am blessed, oh I am blessed, I am blessed, every day. Let us go together, please. I want to really hear you, okay? 
to the house of God, the holy church of the living God, the pillar and the ground of the truth, the house of prayer for all people. We thank and we praise God. We teach at the home church, we don't praise him for what he does, for what he done. We praise him for who he is. But when you praise him for what he has done, then you make it a conditional. You make it saying, if he doesn't do anything, you're not going to. How many people he said, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul. With... So if you love him, you're going to do it. Come on, son. As humans, we know when people do things to us on a conditional basis. Am I right? We know when something is done. And so God for certain knows for certain. He said, these shall nigh unto me and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. How many people love the Lord tonight? I, I tell you, you can't be a true commandment keeper and not love God. God says if you love me, you keep them. Come on, somebody. So we praise God. We celebrate God for this wonderful occasion that he allowed us to have knowledge of. Amen. There are so many people that don't have knowledge of it. They hear about it, but don't have knowledge of it. When you're blessed to have knowledge of it, that's a blessing we put God. Sometimes we take it for granted because we look at the size of the following and don't realize it's not how many people that are there. It's the mere fact that you are in that number. Not that you're in that number. But not as the fact that you are in that number. That he allowed to learn about this day. We honor your pastor. Amen. The one and the only, the Bishop Robert L. Dear, celebrate him tonight. Come on, celebrate him I'm a firm believer of this, and I say this everywhere I go, this place I go. They ask me, why do you go so many places, no matter how the distance? I said, because I hate when people wait till you die. When you die, they can afford a ticket. When you die, the miles are not too long. Come on. When you die, the hotel doesn't cost too much. But when you're alive, they won't come and see you. I'm going to talk. Amen, people of God. And I say the same miles that it takes to go when somebody's in a casket and don't know you're there, go there while they know you can see them. Come on, son. Amen. And that's what fellowship is all about. Come on. Amen, people of God. And we got to get back to understanding that these are convocations. Come on, huh? We talk about the seven-day Sabbath. We say, well, forsake not the assembling yourself as the manner of some is. We say that on the seven. That's for all of God's Sabbaths. That's for all of God's Sabbath. Amen. God didn't give man a Sabbath. He said, moreover, I gave him my Sabbaths. Amen. 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 And some people decide which ones they want to keep. He didn't give you a choice. Amen. Amen. All of his. Amen. But we thank God for the privilege he's given us to be in this annual Sabbath. The memorial of a blowing of trumpets. Yeah. We bless the Lord for that. We thank God for each and every one that's here, that travel, whether you travel a few blocks or many miles. The mere fact you made it, God allowed you to make it. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we only give that greeting to people that travel a distance. They tell you the majority of deaths happen within three miles from home. Amen. So we thank God for everyone that was able to make it here on tonight. Yes, we travel from Brooklyn. We have here uh, Deacon and Minister Lloyd. They, they don't live in Brooklyn anymore. They live in Jersey. Amen. 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 So we thank God for they didn't come with us in our vehicle in the van. So we thank God. Let's celebrate them. Amen. We appreciate it. Amen. We thank God for them. We thank God. Everybody that came from Faithfully Church, I understand 
Amen, amen, amen. We didn't have as many as we would love to have, but I thank God for the ones we do have. Amen. 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 We praise God and we thank God for the house of God, Hebrew Pentecost. We celebrate you today. Amen. We the name of the Lord. Don't ever be ashamed of who you are wherever you go. Amen. Don't ever be ashamed of it because I tell you, what our people are becoming ashamed of, the other people are picking it up and running with it. Amen. Amen. And not only are they picking it up and running with it, they're making a mockery of it and they try to make it for monetary gain. Amen. 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 You remember the prayer show was prevalent in the house of God? And you remember that the prayer show was prevalent in the house of God to start David? And then people got ashamed of it. Now the other denominations done grabbed it and they're making money on that. We were doing it for the right purpose. Now they grabbing it. See, when you try to, to get rid of stuff, some people pick it up. We had it for the right reason. Now people are grabbing it for the wrong reason. Don't ever lose your identity. Amen. 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 Don't ever lose your identity. Amen. Real quickly, if you will go with me to Matthew chapter 11. Amen. I said I was going to do something special this time coming up. And I said, I'm not even going to ask him. I'm just going to do it. Amen. And I said, you know what? What can we do to make the feast extra special? Because we got to go back. And I'm like what you're saying as the presider. I'm, I'm enjoying you tonight. The feast being festive is almost leaving the church. Mm -hmm. We almost look at it as well, something we have to do. We got in the way of saying it's something we look forward to doing. We, see, when you look forward, see, you could be a giver and be a giver, but then you could be a cheerful giver. You hear what I'm saying? There's different types of giving. So you could be a feast day observer, but then you could be a festive, see, come on, somebody. You could be a festive feast day observer. Amen. So, so are, are you keeping the feast so, so you can be made recognize that you was there, or you keeping the feast because it's in your soul? Amen. 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 And that's, I'm looking forward to the day when the celebration of God's holy days are festive as he want us to be. Amen. 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 They're supposed to be festive. Supposed to be days of rejoicing. Days of celebration. When, when, when they heard about the feast days when they had not had them for a long time after they built the wall and they heard the reading of the law, the people started crying. They said, don't cry. He said, go your way. Eat the fat and drink the sweet because why? The joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. Amen. We got to go back having the joy of the Lord in his feast. And we bless the Lord. And some of you have a long time may not realize, as you see, my wife is not in the wheelchair anymore. Amen. 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 But she's not as weak as she used to be. One verse, Matthew chapter 11, verse 15. You know, this is the, I said, the memorial blowing of trumpets. And somebody might ask, well, what, how would this apply? We'll share with you how. Matthew chapter 11, verse 15, one verse. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. One of useful thought tonight, the hearing impaired. The hearing impaired. Just because you have a set of ears, that does not necessarily mean you can hear. Amen. And that's why the scripture didn't just say, he that hath ear. He said, he that hath ear to hear, let them hear. What is the beauty of celebrating a feast with the word trumpets in it, if you can't hear it. Amen. 
When we recognize the, the importance of hearing, then we can really understand the beauty of this feast. See, we, we look at this feast only for the blowing of the trumpets. Uh -huh. And that's why sometimes it is misunderstood. Because all the people want to see is what's being blown and whether or not it is being blown. But throughout the scripture, God deals with hearing sounds. You can't even celebrate Pentecost without hearing sound. Amen. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I heard throughout tonight everybody talking about the great day when the Lord will come. But you got to understand everybody's not going to respond to the sound of the trump of God. If you notice throughout the book of Revelation when Jesus is, has appeared to John and he tells him to write to the churches of Asia Minor, he says throughout the letters to the various churches, he that have ear, let him hear what the Spirit, I want you to hear what it said there, what the Spirit saying to the church. Everybody can't hear what the Spirit said to the church. Because the scripture declares that if you have not the Spirit of God, you're none of His. And, 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 and it is so important for us to get His Spirit because when that time comes, when the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. And he ain't talking about this either. He talking about a noise with a shout. Now, what's the next noise? With the voice, with the trump of God. Y'all better pay attention to this thing. Everything that deals with his return deals with your hearing. He comes with a shout. He comes with the trump of God and the voice of the archangel. You better ask God, give me an ear to hear. Because if you don't have the ear to hear, you're going to miss out when the trumpets sound. Because what's in tune to the trump of God is the Holy Ghost. The carnal ear is not in tune to the trump of God. Because the carnal ear is at enmity with God. It's against God. So in order to be in tune with God, you have to have what God has. And what he made sure in order for us to be in tune with him, he sent his son to make a way for us to get in tune with God. I'm going to be out to wait a few moments here. Because when Adam ate of the tree, we got out of tune with God. And one of the worst things that can happen, you know, singers, is when somebody gets out of tune. Come talk to me, somebody. Come on, y'all gonna wake up in here. One of the worst things can happen is when somebody gets out of tune. When, when somebody gets out of tune, you start looking at each other saying, something is wrong. When man fell from God, we got out of tune. And so God decided, I got to do something to put man in tune. <laughs> so look what he said. He said, well, I gave him Moses and the prophets. <laughs> Wait, they couldn't put man back in the tomb. <laughs> I gave him all, 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 all the precepts in the law. But it couldn't put man back in tune. <laughs> so Jesus stood up. <laughs> Jesus said, a body, him, thou hast prepared me. Aren't you glad about it? Because 
We needed something to put us back in tune with God. Because the first and great commandment is that here, O Israel, how can you know that the Lord thy God is one? Until you do what? Somebody said, hear him. So I don't want to be hearing impaired. How do I become hearing impaired? When you start listening to every wind and doctrine. When you start listening to the voice of the enemy. When you stop listening to the one that God gave you to feed you. You become hearing impaired. But my Bible tell me Jesus said my sheep have know my voice have and a stranger have they won't follow have she Let you know. 
wrong, huh? I don't care how much you read your Bible, huh? You can Google all you want, huh? You can stroke a quarters all you want, huh? But how can you hear huh? without a preacher, huh? You ought to say, Lord, huh? speak to my preacher, huh? You ought to put them and say, Lord, huh? speak to our preacher, huh? Service of old, huh? they didn't mind hearing. Huh? They tell me huh? when Samuel huh? was a little boy, huh? God huh? called Samuel. Huh? Samuel huh? ran to Eli. Huh? Say, did you call me? Huh? Eli said, huh? I can call you. Huh? He said, but we're the only ones here. Huh? It got to be you. Huh? He went back. Huh? God called him again. Huh? Yeah. 
going to be tricked anymore. <laughs> when the, the spirit of truth is come, ha, he will guide you ha, in the all truth. Ha. Why would he guide you ha, in the all truth? Ha. Because ha, he ha, shall know ha, the truth ha, and the truth ha, shall make ha, you free. Ha. And the way, the truth, and the light, no man come to the Father, but by me, I say, speak, Lord. I don't want, I don't want to become hearing and pain. If you got a church home, Keep the seat God put on you in the seat at the church of your church home. Yes. We're living in a day now where preachers are playing hating one another. Come on, come on. Preachers will try. Now the Bible said that the harvest is plentiful. But the laborers are few. It's a shame when preachers are trying to preach people out of one church into the church where they pastor in. Ha. Something wrong with that. Ha. But if you had an ear to hear, ha, you won't let that happen to you. Ha. But the Bible told you, ha, we have not ha, many fathers. Ha. When you don't, you know how when you was a child. Ha. When you didn't want to hear something, ha, you put up a tangent. You just did. You remember that? You remember that? When mother said, hey, you, put, you didn't want to hear it, you cover your ear. Ha. Why is it ha, when the devil speaks to us? Ha, we don't cover our ear. Ha. We give the devil ha, all of our attention. Ha. I come to tell you, church, ha. let's just stop singing this song. Ha. Let's put it into action. Ha. What song, Bishop? Ha. I'm going ha, back to Jesus. Ha. I'm going ha, back to Jesus. Why? Ha. I'm going ha, where the living ha, was for why? Ha. Now I can see, ha, but I can hear. Ha. I say, I can hear, ha. I can hear, ha. my Savior calling, ha. it's with the tears, ha. I'm falling, ha. my heart. So let me close. I don't want to be hearing in here. Because I don't want to miss the sound of the trumpet. I want you to understand what we're doing tonight is two things. It's a memorial of blowing the trumpets. But it's pointing to the greatest trumpet. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's a memorial of the blowing of trumpets. When they blew trumpets to coronate a king. When they blew trumpets in war. When they blew trumpets for the great days. The happy days and the solemn days. It was a memorial of that. But today we're looking under Jesus. The author, ha, the finisher ha, of our faith. Ha. Are you tuning ha, to the trump of God? Ha. Are you tuning ha, to the trump of God? Ha. Stop believing ha, every hymn ha, that's written. Ha. The hymn sound good, ha, but it's not true. Ha. Uh oh, it's the hymns. hymn. Ha. Well, can I keep it real? Ha. There's a hymn. Ha. That is not true. Ha. And know what that hymn is? Ha. When they ring ha. those golden bells, ha. he's not going to ring ha. any golden bells. Ha. He's coming ha. with the trump of God. Ha. He don't have ha. golden bells. Ha. If you want to see gold, ha. hear the trump of God. Ha. If you hear the trump of God, ha. you'll be able ha. to walk ha. 
on the streets that are paid with gold. Ha. But he's not gonna blow ha. ring, ha. no golden bell. Ha. He's gonna blow ha. the trump of God. Ha. Yeah!
the first resurrection. Come on, somebody. Blessed is she that had part in the first resurrection. Just lean near somebody and say, Do you hear what I hear? Do you hear what I hear? Now notice when he left here. He, oh Lord Jesus, I'm sorry. When he, I mean, let me stop. Right? When he left here, the disciples, 11, 11 of them, were standing. They were gazing up in the heaven. And there were two men dressed in white. And they said, Ye men of Galilee, why? Stand your head gazing up, up in the heaven, high, that same Jesus high, coming back high, in like manners. High, he left out high, in the clouds. High, he's coming back high, in the clouds. High, if you don't believe it, high, the scripture said high, that when we are resurrected, high, we're going to meet him high, in the air. High, and so high, shall we ever have with the Lord. They're hearing their parents. They're hearing their parents. When you got a preacher that's preaching, trust me, people of God, that preacher is helping your hearing. Please hear me, God. You know what the prophecy was to the dry bones? Didn't prophesy no new house. I don't understand people invite prophets today to their church. Back in the day, the people got scared when the prophets came to town. Now you're inviting the prophets. I don't know where they get there from. Back in the day, when the prophets wanted to speak, you're like, uh oh, what happened? The Bible says this. And please understand this. It is time for us to accept the fact that we have to leave here. We have to leave here. And we have to hear. We have to hear. We have to hear. And Jesus, and the Lord spoke to Ezekiel. And the prophecy, he said, prophesied to the bones. He didn't tell them to tell the bones to get together. He didn't tell the bones what was going to happen to them. He simply said, hear ye the word of the Lord. All I'm telling you tonight, while we are celebrating the feast, out of everything that we enjoy, Throughout this season, she mentioned it three times in a year. He didn't say three days. He mentioned season. The scripture said these days are to be proclaimed in their season. So this is the season. Trumpets and Day of Atonement is part of the season of tabernacles. Amen. 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 See, people think that you're only supposed to show up. At Feast of the Eleven Bread, Pentecost, and Tabernacles, all the time. The Bible said seasons. He didn't say three days in a year. He said three times. Rightly divide the Word of God three times in a year. Because what this day is doing is sounding the alarm, it's sounding the trumpet to prepare your mind for this season. Because each season that He told the men to appear was some form of a harvest season. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Pray for me. When they call me, I will answer. When he calls, I will answer.
this is our time of celebration. Amen. And we celebrate in the most high God. Amen. We thank him for the times, the appointments that he's made with us. Praise the Lord. That we may come before him and that we may bless his high and holy name. Aren't you glad tonight? I said, aren't you glad tonight? It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. For a lot of places doing a whole lot of bad things tonight. But praise be God, we at the right place at the right time doing a good thing and that's giving thanks to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Let the people of God say amen. Amen. I said let the people of God say amen. Praise God. Amen. And we thank God. Amen. For everything. We thank God for the song. And just seeing one another. Praise the Lord. It's a blessing just to see one another. And it's a blessing that I'm able to see you. Because there's going to come a day that people are going to look at us, but we won't be able to look at them. Yeah. But we can see one another. Praise be God. Amen. And to hear each other's voices and our praises unto God. Praise the Lord. I know um, some of you may be somewhat tired, um, but I'm glad to be in God's house. Yeah. A lot, of times, a lot of times since COVID, a lot of us haven't been able to come to the house of God on dark time and the dark portion of the Sabbath. Praise the Lord, but I'm glad to be here on a dark portion of the Sabbath. Amen. Aren't you glad about it? Don't get, ever get so tight that you can't give God a praise. Don't ever worry about so much about what's gonna go on in the morning. What you got that you can't give God a praise. You better give God a praise for your now. I said, give God a praise for your right now, because the Lord's been good. I said, the Lord's been good. And we've done a lot. Man, but before we leave, praise the Lord, I, I, I think we owe it to God that we just all give him a, a hallelujah praise and a hand clapping and a foot stomping and a dancing praise. I don't care how tired you are. I, I don't need, I know how to do it. I've been around long enough. I know how to talk for five minutes and I know how to put, push the right buttons. I know what buttons push folks. Praise the Lord. I know what things excite people. Praise the Lord. Amen. But what all ought to excite you is just being in the presence of the Lord. Doing what the Lord said do ought to excite you. Did everybody get up off your feet and just give God a praise. Give him a praise.
entertain you for just a few minutes. We honor the Most High God into this His church, the people that He purchased with His own blood. Man, He owns us. I say it that way because when you purchase something, you own it. It's your possession, and the church is owned by Jesus. It's Jesus's possession. He have all legal rights over the church. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord. Amen. And aren't you glad about it? He got legal rights over you. He can tell you what to do. He can tell you when to do it and how to do it. Because he own, folk don't even want to say the Lord owned them. Paul went so far and said, I am a slave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know that the Lord owns you? We like saying the church because, you know, that's that great, a big thing. But you got to make that thing personal. He owns me. He has control over me. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? So if he want to tell me to come to church on a Sunday night, on a cool September evening, I'll come because he owns me. Yeah. Praise the Lord. If he tells me to take off of work on a Monday, if he tells me to not go to school on a Monday, I'll do it because he owns me. Somebody say hallelujah. We'll be a lot better off if we know that he owns us and he can do what he want to do with us. He can receive us in the kingdom or he can send us to the lake of fire because he owns it, praise the Lord. If he want to consider us chaff, he can send us to the fire and just burn us up like chaff. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. He's the savior of the world. He's the savior of the world. Praise the Lord. And it said, especially of them that believe. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Even if you don't believe it, he's the savior of the world. Praise the Lord. I'm glad for the apostle uh, MJ. Evans, praise the Lord. That's the way we used to do everything. Praise the Lord. A lot of folk, we ain't even know their, their names. Praise the Lord. We call them by their initials. Praise the Lord. Amen. We call them Mother I.B. Sesame Howard. A lot of folk don't know I.B. being out of hell. Praise the Lord. I.B. Praise the Lord. A lot of you didn't know R L R C. Y'all didn't know what that's. Some of you did. Some of you didn't. Praise the Lord. Amen. But what? How did, that was just that time. Praise the Lord. Richard N A Mellon up in N A Mullins. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, Bishop S L R E Malcolm. I know what R stands for. I don't even know what E stands for. I guess his daughter know what it stands for. But I sure don't. Do you know? No, his granddaughter don't know. Praise the Lord. Edward, see, I never knew that. Just you know that I never knew that. Praise the Lord. That the East is for, because we just called the Bishop R.E. Malcolm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. And we do thank the Lord. Amen. For you coming up. Uh, though I'm not looking right at you. Uh, I really appreciate you coming up to be with us on this uh, dark part of this great feast. Praise the Lord. He didn't have to do it, but he did. He didn't have to come, but he did. Praise the Lord. And that's a fact. You can't make folk do nothing. Praise the Lord. Amen. I used to think you could make a baby do something. Until I had baby, you can't even make a baby do nothing. Amen. They could just be just as stubborn as they want to. Praise the Lord. Amen. I was trying to once upon a time, I, 
get stubborn Caleb to do something. And he was a little boy. And I said, I'm going to beat you. Until you do it. He said, just beat me. <laughs> he refused to do it. Praise the Lord. And I tried him. He, he didn't do it to the day. Praise the Lord. I got tired of beating him because I knew they'd call somebody on me if I beat him long enough. Praise the Lord. Amen. You can't. But I thank God for you coming and bringing the congregation uh, with you. And thank you for coming with him because you ain't had to come with him either. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we do thank God for you. And uh, this is another one that will go down in the annals of history. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, being with us. Praise the Lord. Amen. I thank God for those that's a part of this church locally yes. Yes. to Amen. come. Praise the Lord. I, I must say I was a little surprised when I looked at the number. Because uh, the number is real low. Praise the Lord. They they um, did something for me last night. Um, they had um, a dinner at a restaurant. I think it was River Girl, was it? Yeah. River Girl, that's the first time I've been there. Um, and um, so um, they uh, had it. And it was a nice group because I count it. I number Israel because God didn't tell me to not to number Israel. He ain't said no plague. Because sometimes I know Israel. Praise the Lord. I, he told David, don't do it. He didn't tell me not to do it. Praise the Lord. And um, I guess they stayed out so late they didn't want to come to church tonight. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. But um, I, I get them. He's not preaching. Amen. I don't know how to preach. Because I don't never want to be the priority. You hear what I'm saying? I really mean that. And God knows as I stand here, I mean that with every fiber of my being, I never want to be the priority. I want God to be the priority. Praise God. I mean that with my heart. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's the, you know, I know who I am. I know, I know who I am. I know that I'm just a frail man and I'm here for a space of time. And my space is going to be over. Amen. And I know God is eternal. Praise the Lord. And I recognize that. And I thank God for using me in the way that he does use me. Praise the Lord. He's chosen me this way. And I don't, I'm not upset. And I, I don't get angry. If the Lord don't choose me to do nothing else, I'm not upset. I'm glad for what the Lord has chosen me to be. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God in him. And I mean that with my heart, praise the Lord. I don't have to strive for nothing, praise the Lord. I don't ask God for things for myself personally like that. Because whatever, I just want to be in the kingdom, praise the Lord. Amen, praise God. That the Lord has been here. My name don't have to be in lights neither. What, what, what does it, what difference does it make? Amen, I just know there's no, it's, it's, it's no benefit to me. For my names to be in lights. Praise the Lord. Amen. His name ought to be magnified and glorified. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen, somebody. Do you believe that? Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. And uh, even as I've grown old, I, 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 I get more firm in that. And, that, and that's just not the rational that the Lord has taught me that. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because he don't see as man see. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I thank him for just elect. What, 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 what he was doing, principle number, what's principle number 18? You sure? Yeah. All right, yes it is. Principle number 18 is electing election. I'm part, I'm glad I'm part of that elect. That's all I have, praise it. And if God want to elect me as the mayor, the city council, the president, I don't get what he elect me as. Thank God I'm in the election. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Y'all get what I'm saying. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I'm very grateful. Amen. So um, I'm looking for those that's not here. You tell them that uh, we're here tomorrow. It ain't, it ain't no. Because we, we got that in our mind. Uh, that the daylight is holier than the night. 
Yeah. I don't know where that came from, but we do. We got that in our minds that, you know, you know, Sabbath night, Friday night, it's holy, but, you know, but when you wake up, you oh, oh, it's a beautiful Sabbath morning. What about the beautiful Sabbath night? You know, and we, you know, and and people, you know, some of us would, if we got to iron our clothes, we'd do it on the night, but we won't iron it on the daylight. Praise the Lord, but it's just as wrong to iron in the night as it is in the daylight. Praise the Lord, y'all know I'm telling the truth. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, stuff like that. So I thank God. So the, all this time is holy. And I thank God for it. Amen. And once again, thank God for you. And you don't know, say you on home and or wherever you stand. Praise the Lord. Um, and um, we pray the Lord's blessing upon you to give you safe travel. Praise the Lord. Amen. And have a good service throughout this entire day and even minister you throughout the night. I even pray on Sabbath night, Lord, get, make it a good night's rest and give me good dreams. The Lord does that. I be dreaming about church on Sabbath night. I do. I be dreaming about singing and, and church and people preaching to me. And because the Lord, I, he answers my prayers. He gives me them kind of dreams. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. One time I shake it all in the bed. Sister Faith, wonder what's going on. I said, oh, that's just nothing but the anointing. She thought I had the chills. Praise the Lord. Amen. You ever had the Lord touch you when you were sleeping? Amen. And you felt, you know, even when you're sleeping, you feel the anointing of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, I just, I, I just said, I'm having a Holy Ghost seizure. Praise the Lord. I think she does too. She talks, it's her sleep, but she be talking other languages. I don't know what she's saying. But she's saying something. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. She don't want to have a church. I'm having, she in, she in Africa having church. Praise the Lord. And I'm in South Carolina, so we have a church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. And I, I, I thank God for you. And I enjoyed the word of God. Let's put our hands together for the word. Now, uh, we said. Uh, we originally uh, scheduled to be here at 11 a.m. We didn't want to change the times because um, the earlier we come, maybe the earlier we leave. But um, when Apostle Evan said he's coming, I figured we might stay a little longer um, than what we may not if he wasn't here praise the lord amen which is a good thing praise the lord amen um so we said we'll come at 12 o'clock so the paper say one thing she's announcing another thing and that's where the 12 o'clock announcements are. but we won't extend sabbath school sabbath school is going to be shortened okay it's going to be short, and he gave us Sabbath. He kept, you remember he said about three or four times, let's go to Sabbath school. And he, amen. So we went to Sabbath school tonight. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, so um, then we just want to know that, and because we do realize on uh, Tuesday, uh, many of us have to return back to school and work. And um, Deacon over there, he got to go to work tomorrow night at midnight, he told me. Praise the Lord, amen. So you're going to stay here, jump and shout, and do all that tomorrow. And while we all sleeping, he's going to be working. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I thank God for that. Um, glad to see uh, the Lloyds. Praise the Lord, amen. amen. Uh, we're going to give uh, our preacher uh, an offering. We didn't have many of us today, but thank God for that which you had, and thank God for what we raised. Uh, and it says two hundred twenty-five dollars. Um, I love every one of you. I mean that. I don't, I've been knowing, they used to say, "I know you all your life." I've been knowing some of you all your life. 
I know Sister Kimberly all her life. Sister Kimball, I've been knowing her all her life. Mm -hmm. And lo, I'm like Jacob, and lo, behold, I see her seed. And I've been knowing him all his life. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Amen. I believe he's going to be around the rest of my life and beyond my life. I believe he's going to stay right in the church. Praise the Lord. Do you believe that? Praise the Lord. You see, the Lord gave him a love for the church when he was born. He was born with a love for the church. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I thank God for that. I'm growing older now. Amen. And I know if I'm old, I know Lady Evans is growing old. Amen. If I'm growing old, because she got me by a few. So I think it's her birthday. I know it's in September. Mm -hmm. uh, six? Yes. The six. And I'm the 29th. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I thank God for uh, everyone. So um, they were saying last, yesterday, um, up on the mountain, and I said, I ain't on the mountain, up on the top of the mountain, I'm going down the other side. I'm going down the mountain now, praise the Lord. But it's going to take me a long time to get down there, praise the Lord, to the end, praise God. Amen. And I'm going to do the work of the Lord until the Lord calls me, praise the Lord. That's how you have to have it, praise the Lord. Amen. Glad for you, Dr. Palmer, this is our first uh, year, amen, doing all of this, praise the Lord. Amen. And I'm so glad uh, for her. Praise the Lord. Now, when she says she's been to three churches, she she's she's a musician. Praise the Lord. So she's she's going to different churches. Uh, huh? You was there too. Mm -hmm. We was together today. Oh, you was at two of them. Oh, y'all was together. Y'all was traveling together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little bit. All right. So they traveling together. Praise the Lord. Okay. Amen. So I thank God. Let me be quiet. Uh, we got a little. Oh, I enjoyed you before. I Amen. Oh, God. Praise God. Amen. I knew that song you were singing, and I said, Lady Pipe, know that song? And then I realized what that song was. Praise God. That's so nice that you're going to learn a song just for them. Praise the Lord. Amen. I've been married all these years. I ain't but I'm going to do it since you did it. I'm going to learn a song. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, so, um, we got a little refreshments. Just a little. Everybody say little. little. Because it's a little. Now, Lady Dallas probably got some fruit that she's probably hiding somewhere. Praise the Lord. She probably got some. So, uh, uh, you go... Uh, and if you don't see it and you see Sister Minister Brooks running somewhere, um, she running that fruit. So you enter, you know, and if she ain't in the church, she's out in that white car. All right, then. So you come and get. I know their little tricks, praise the Lord. I know them and I know their tricks. I know your works, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. See, and, and they told uh, Lady Faith told me that that um, Lady Dallas called Sister Minister Brooks today, and they taking a van because Sister Brooks told Sister Dallas, and Sister Dallas told her, and she told me that it was a van. And then I said, Oh. I know why. Why would she call? I said, I know why she called her. Because she was getting some fruit together. Praise the Lord. But this is the feast. This is the feast. Um, can I take 30 seconds? I Don't get scared that I'm reading the picking up the Bible. I ain't preaching. Don't get scared. Don't get scared. Because I know y'all feel like. Uh, uh, no, come and hear the word. You heard the preacher. I don't get scared. I just like to read it from the scripture. Praise the Lord. Um, and it, it's right here. I know where he's at. Um, the Bible say, this is talking about this day because it say, uh, I don't see it right now, but I know it say that on the first day of the seventh month, the people was gathered. Um, and that's what it said. And then, um, Ezra said to the people, she knows this, uh, this is uh, Reuben's favorite scripture. Then he said unto them, 
Go your way, eat the fat and drink the sweet. And send portions unto them who nothing is prepared. Give portions to nothing. I didn't prepare apples for you, I, but I'm going to give you something prepared. For this day is holy to the Lord. Neither be sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. So when you see them sneak into that white car, say, nothing is prepared for me. Give me some according to the word of God. Somebody say, yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. All right, then. Uh, love you. I love you so much. I want you to get an apple, too. Praise God. All right, is that it? Pastor Evans, I didn't hear wholly what he was saying uh, when he was uh, told me something because the music was going. I don't know who, I, but I believe uh, they bought some pastry. Two pastry. I, I, the music was going. I didn't clearly hear what you said. What, what you said, Gary? What uh, the Evans? What came out that? Uh, Pastor Evans. Yeah, Pastor Evans. Oh, thank you. He bought two large bags of pastries to share. I got enough of what he said, but man, I got all what he said. Praise the Lord, and uh, God bless you, so we're going to eat that and the other thing, and we'll come back. Amen. Be well. Sweet, oh, he knows sweet potato pie. He, and a bunch of stuff. He knows about the sweet potato pies He's a, and a bunch of stuff. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we thank you for the bunch of stuff. Praise the Lord. Amen. You still love me, uh, Minister Perks? Because your eyes are set on me like Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. I know what he's talking to Ezekiel about. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Good that you have that mask on. Praise the Lord. Uh, so, thank God for the musicians. I know they've been working all day. Amen. Working all day. We're, I tell them to work on Sunday and bring the money on Saturday. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's say and praise God. Amen. Uh, if I'm forgetting something, uh, that's all right. Praise the Lord. Uh, thank you, Apostle Emerson. Every one of you again. Amen. We love you. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your divine presence. Thank you for watching over us by night and by day. And the bad and the good, in sickness and health, in rich and poor, you watch over us. And we thank you for your provisions. Lord God, we want to thank you for uniting us again and taking two congregations and making it one. Lord God, we thank you for the man of God whom you have selected to preach your word and we were able to hear the preaching of the word through him on tonight. Bless him God for coming. Bless him for preaching. Bless every step he takes and the thoughts and the visions that you have given him in the dreams. Let it come a reality in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you for everyone that has come with him. And I pronounce a blessing, a special blessing upon each of them for coming with the man of God. The Lord bless you all. Take us from this place. Give us good rest tonight. If we are feeling uncomfortable in any way or feeling kind of sick or totally sick, we ask you to rid those feelings throughout the night as we sleep. And when we wake up and see the light of day, let us realize that the pain and the affliction is gone because you are the God that heals us. We love you, God. That's why we want to be with you forever because we love you. Bless us and keep us and let us forever be thy holy children. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. And all the people of God say, Amen. Amen. Say, I love you, saints. I love you. Brothers, I love you. Praise God. And just go, I don't know this plan. There's not many of us. There's not much to, you can, this would probably be the best door to go through.
and receive. You can sit and you know take it however you want to do it. You can do it. Amen. Amen.